This is the video lesson for velocity time graphs. The learning target for this lesson is I am learning to read and understand velocity time graphs and to calculate the velocity of an object using velocity time graphs. The success criteria for this lesson are I can tell the important parts of a velocity time graph. I can describe what direction an object's velocity is based on an object's velocity time graph and I can calculate an object's acceleration based on the slope of a velocity time graph. Alright, so what's what on a velocity time graph? Here on the y-axis we have velocity and on the x-axis here we have time. And here where we have a non-zero slope we have, and it's a constant slope, so we have constant slope on a velocity time graph that means that we have a constant acceleration constant acceleration so this part of the velocity time graph where we have no slope or a zero slope means that we have a constant velocity so as opposed to on a position time graph where we have a flat line meaning that we have no velocity at all in a velocity time graph uh, a flat line or no slope means that we have constant velocity and then here in this section of the graph where we have a changing slope this means that we have changing velocity or excuse me changing acceleration so changing slope means changing acceleration So in a velocity time graph, when we have positive, positive numbers, that means we have positive velocity. Or forward motion. And here when we have negative numbers that means we have negative velocity which means we have backward motion. And so to calculate the, uh, the acceleration, you're going to calculate the slope. So to calculate the acceleration, Calculate the acceleration, you calculate the slope. So here we have constant acceleration or a changing slope, a changing velocity. Here we have a constant velocity. Here we have changing velocity again or a changing acceleration. Here we have constant velocity, changing velocity or an acceleration constant velocity and then here is another acceleration so that's a changing velocity okay so let's look at another example of a velocity time graph so here we have in this section of the graph we have a positive slope which means that we have positive acceleration
and this is a constant slope, so this is a constant acceleration. And so the velocity is increasing. getting bigger so velocity is getting bigger here we have a zero slope so no acceleration so we have a constant velocity Here we have a negative slope. So we have a negative acceleration. Again, it's a constant acceleration. And so the velocity here is decreasing. So the velocity is going down at this part of the graph. And then here we have a zero slope or no slope again. So we have no uh, acceleration. We have a constant, constant velocity. And if we wanted to calculate the velocity or the acceleration, we would calculate the slope. So if we wanted to calculate the acceleration of this part of the motion, we would say that we had, so we could say acceleration is equal to rise over run, which is equal to one, two, three, four, four over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four, four over seven. So that's four seventh is our acceleration. And the units are meters per second per second. All right, everybody, go out there and keep asking questions. It's how you learn new things.